They are the sort of images that send shivers down the spine of all air travelers. A plane rests on its belly in the ocean. Emergency exits flung open with passengers standing on the wings waiting for rescue boats. Survivors wearing their life jackets clamber onto dry land. But what makes these pictures all the more incredible is that everyone on board got out alive. The Lion Air Boeing 737 was flying from West Java into the Indonesian holiday island of Bali. It apparently landed on the runway, but for some reason didn't stop crashing into the ocean. As the sea laps up against the windows, a huge crack is clearly visible. Those scrambling to get out must have known the plane was quickly filling with water. Many of the 100-plus passengers, still in soaking wet clothes, were looked after at the airport's terminal. There was no warning that there was something wrong with the plane. Before the accident, the crew told us they were preparing to land and asked us to put on safety belts. Suddenly I heard a loud noise and I found out that we were next to the runway and on the water. There were at least six children on board, including a baby. Those more seriously hurt were taken to local hospitals, suffering from broken bones and head injuries. This survivor also described their escape. I went out of the plane, but I don't know how to swim. And then there were people helping me. I was carried to the shore by rescue officers. Lion Air is one of the world's fastest growing budget airlines, recently ordering almost 500 new planes. But it's not got the best safety record. 25 people died in a 2004 crash, and there have been a number of other serious incidents. We took delivery of the aircraft in March this year, so it's only been operational for two months. This is a brand new plane that we received directly from the manufacturer. The aircraft was operated by Captain Gonzali, who has 10,000 hours flying experience. While an investigation will uncover what went wrong this time, there'll only be praise for the crew who managed to save everyone on board. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, Sydney.